guys, today I have a Lush haul. This is going to include um, the new Father's Day items. Uh, but before I get into that, um, I wanted to discuss the Instagram post that um, is going around that is showing or hinting at um, liquid Lush shower gels. Now, I am hoping and praying that this means that there will be some liquids here in the future, maybe some new, some new liquid shower gels, the things that we have all been just dying for, but keep getting naked virgins. Um, I did see, I swear I saw one that was like an ectoplasm liquid shower gel like I would die for that so I am hoping that Lush makes some sort of an announcement maybe they're gonna release some new liquids um that'll come out sometime this summer or you know maybe they have something in store like for Halloween with like the liquid ectoplasm shower gel like that would be so so awesome because I mean everyone is just trying to tell them to like bring us liquids like stop with the naked but they really just haven't been listening so it'd be so awesome to see that so hopefully we will see some sometime in the near future uh, but when i saw that i was getting like incredibly giddy so if you guys have too then i know you're probably just as excited so i'm going to start with the father's day stuff first and then after I show you um, the things that I have ordered, I also won some Lush perfumes on eBay. So I will show you guys those two at the end. Um, but we are going to start with Father's Day stuff first. So the first Father's Day item <laughs> is soap. <laughs> um, and it is called Mustachio. And they came out with three different looking bars of soap um i only purchased one i didn't buy all three they're all the same scent i only purchased one because quite frankly i have so many soaps right now um and i just want to say like the new formula that lush is using with their soaps they aren't lasting very long at all and i think is because they were um removing a certain ingredient or something out of them uh or putting a different ingredient in i'm not entirely certain uh, but their soaps are not holding up well at all like literally a couple uses sometimes like it's it's kind of crazy has anyone else been noticing that like the the consistency is just so soft like this bar of soap i can i can squish like i can literally feel it squishing in between my fingers it's so incredibly soft um so it just doesn't it doesn't last very long at all um but anyway the mustachio soap smells like the dirty spring wash scent which I love that smell. Um, so does my boyfriend and I like smelling it on him. It's one of my favorite Lush scents um, that I like him smelling like. And it smells like spearmint, but it's more than that. It's just a very, I don't know, refreshing, clean, minty smell. I just think it smells fantastic. And I'm usually not big into minty scents, so it is a little surprising how much I like that. And like I said, only purchased one of these and it's just random, whichever one you get. Mine is blue, but they also have a red one and a yellow one with a different kind of design. But if you buy all three, I think they try to give you one of each color. But like I said, only got one because, you know, it's just too many soaps here lately. Next we have their Naked Beard Oil. You can see it kind of just looks like a, a little bottle with like a dropper kind of top, but it's completely, completely naked. It's pretty small. Um, this is called No Trouble and it smells nice. It's got a bit of that woodsy scent to it. It's like cedarwood and sandalwood. It smells really good. I think my boyfriend's going to like this, but we shall see once he uses it. Um, whether or not um, he really likes it but um, the scent of it 
really, really good. So, as far as, like, us using it, like, I know they have it marketed towards, you know, men and beards and stuff since it's Father's Day, but it makes me wonder, like, what we could use it for. If you guys bought this, like, what do you plan on using it for? This is for him. I'm gonna let him have it and use it, like, actually for his beard, but I just want to know, like, what I could use it for. Like, I thought it would be nice to, like, um, just, like, rub into to your skin after shaving, like, after shaving your legs and stuff. Mm, it smells really nice. I want to, I'm going to set it down because it's, like, melting in my hands. Next, we have another bubble spinner. This one is called Fun for All the Family. So, like I said, even though this is like a Father's Day product, um, I guess they're trying to, you know, incorporate, um, you know, kids into the mix and mom. So, to just like sit by the tub and let everyone, you know, use the bubble bar kind of thing. However, there's a crap ton of glitter all over it so I I don't know if you know some men are gonna be all into like taking a glittery bath but um the smells nice again it's a, it's a citrus scent it's orange and lime I really like it though it's very I smell the lime a lot in that actually which is nice because usually you get more of a with citrus scents I feel like you get more of a lemon or orange but it, I really do like the smell of that. And I think this is going to make really pretty water just because of the, the color blue and the glitter. So I don't know if my boyfriend will actually use this, but I know I definitely will. So I'm curious to see how, how that'll look as far as like the watercolor and all that goes. But uh, I mean, bubble spinners, I, I'm, I'm hoping they kind of like fade out like we don't we don't need any more do we how do you guys feel about the bubble spinners i think it's it's done put a fork in it it's done kind of like the naked products right <laughs> speaking of naked products we have the um naked shower gel and this one is dirty spring wash um so we have a dirty spring wash naked shower gel a dirty spring wash soap so like two dirty spring wash soaps basically um had to get this though i mean you can buy the dirty spring wash in liquid form however my boyfriend really likes the scent of this and he wanted to try the naked version so got that so he can use and i'm excited for him to use it too because i love the smell of that it's actually sold out on the uk site right now so must be popular for being a naked. Making a reappearance is the Mod Father Bubble Bar. Um, it just seems like the Father's Day collection, there wasn't really much new product other than the bubble spinner and the beard oil. Um, you know, I wish they had come out with a new bath bomb or something along those lines. But Mod Father is back and I accidentally bought two of these. I did not, or did not expect that. It was kind of a surprise when I got in the mail. I was like, well, there's two in here. But I accidentally put two in my basket. Um, it's a citrus scent. Definitely more on the orange scent of the citrus spectrum. Um, I have already done demos of the Mod Father and the Super Dad bath bomb. They're a little older though. If you guys would like me to redo them, I can. And as far as a Father's Day cocktail, I think I did one last year of these two products, the Mod Father and the the Super Dad. So, but I would I would like to possibly redo those just because it's been a while. And then also, I did get one of the super dad bath bombs and i really like the smell of this one this one has more of the woodsy scent there's sandalwood in there but there's also like a sweetness to it as well it's very nice i really do like this one but i just wish that they had um made a new bath bomb as well like keep this one but give like another one too 
but I'm sure Father's Day isn't like the best sellers as far as um, Lush products go. I know not everyone is into Lush. Um, my boyfriend loves a lot of Lush products though, so it's just a matter sometimes of like um, convincing the boys to go in and like try something, you know what I mean? But once they do, then they get hooked. And then the last Yes, this is the last Father's Day item I got was a new um, knot wrap. And I really like the silky ones. I think I've said before, I prefer the ones that are silky. And this one is the dinosaurs one. And it is silky, which is nice. And it's just got these like little um, dinosaur prints. They're kind of funny looking, almost like a, like children drew them or something maybe like kids did I don't know but I think it's really cute so I'm going to add that to my my collection of um knot wraps all right so I did purchase some other products as well um when I did place my order for the father's day um stuff I did get some bubble bars because I wanted to do some um cutting videos of these so I got three of the the large ones this one is blue skies and fluffy white clouds and oh my god i just mm, no i love the smell of this one sorry so in like if you go if you're in the u.s and you go to the shop or you go onto the lush website and you order these they're like 12 12 dollars or so because they are a larger bubble bar like you could get more than one use out of this if you cut it up. However, if you order it on the UK site, it's like $7.50, give or take. So that's one of the reasons why I, I purchase off of the UK because it saves you money. Um, things are just a lot cheaper to order off of the UK, especially these bigger bubble bars. So I got this one to chop on up. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I also got the comforter. So it just looks like this. If you've never seen the comforter bubble bar before. And this one smells like black currants. I really like it. I like the scent of the um comforter bubble bar, just not the shower cream. So yes, got that to, to chop up and use. And then I also got Super Tramp. And I believe Super Tramp is only available on the UK site. I don't know if it's available in the in US shops or on the US site. So all three of those are gonna be chopped on up as well as this little guy here. And this is the grass bubble bar. And I've done like single demos of those already before. Um, I've pretty much done like a lot of Lush demos. If you're just now watching this video, like this is the first video you ever clicked on. I do have demos of most Lush products up on my channel. This one is so vibrant. Oh my gosh, love that green. It's been a while since I've used mm, a grass bubble bar. So that one is also getting cut up. Um, I purchased, and I'm so excited for this, the Handy Guru Guru, Guru Handy Guru Goo hand cream, which looks like this. I really like this stuff, um, especially because, like, my hands have been getting really dry, and this stuff is super duper thick, um, and feels fantastic. So, again, if you buy this in the US, you're gonna pay about $22 for this size jar, which is not, it's not a huge jar by any means, but a little does kind of go a long way. Um, if you purchase it on the UK site, it's about $13. So again, I'd rather purchase on the UK site than buy it, you know, in a US shop. So, but this is what it looks like if you've never seen it before. It just looks like, a regular old butter but it's super thick do you see that that's a satisfying sound is it not um it's a little bit greasy um the smell it's 
I don't know exactly how I would describe the scent. It's not like overly pleasant smelling, but it doesn't stink either in my opinion. It's rose, vanilla, and chamomile in there, but I don't particularly smell what I feel like maybe I smell the chamomile the most because to me it almost has an underlying scent of tea like tea leaves or something so that might be like the chamomile um scent that I smell I just really like it I think it works pretty well it's a tad bit greasy but I like to put it on like before I go to bed that way I'm not like because you know sometimes when you put on like greasy lotion then like everything you touch you just leave prints all over um so that's why I like to use it before I go to bed um and then the last thing that I purchased was a new tote bag and it's wrapped up like this um so let me just open it on up here so we can see what it looks like I feel like this is a little bit of an excessive packaging I don't know you know, you know Lush is all about like conserving. Okay, here, a little bit of a venti rant here. Um, Lush is all about like con conserving stuff and everything like that. My orders came in two separate packages. Now, I'm assuming it's because they couldn't all fit in one box to, to um, make it, I guess, the the cheaper rate or something so they split it I don't fully understand why it came in two separate boxes one box came one day the other box didn't come till the following day so I don't know it just seems excessive like why not put it all in one box you know what I mean like it would have shaped it would have saved on um box material peanuts like the gas that it took the plane you know the postal workers time like if you really want to get technical like i just don't understand why it came into not a big deal but just saying and this is like in a huge brown paper bag which is great because i put my recycling in brown paper bags like my paper recycling so i will reuse that for my recycling but this is the tote that i bought 1-800 hot oil bling how stinking cute is that i had to get this one so i'm excited for it. i only have a couple lush totes this one just kind of spoke to me i really liked it i thought it was so funny just like a little parody of that song so got that to take with me when i go to the actual lush shops to do my shopping with the stuff that i do buy in the store and then lastly i have the lush perfume that i won on ebay it was a lot of four lush perfumes and i won i was so excited you guys know um if you watch my other videos and you watch my yard sale hauls in particular I had purchased a Gap Grass perfume that was brand new in the box at a yard sale for $3. I sold it on eBay for like $199. So with that money, I went ahead and purchased this um, Lush collection of perfumes because it's something that I would have rather had kind of thing. Um, before I show them to you guys though, I paid I paid for the lot about like a hundred and sixty dollars. Where's my invoice? Um, one hundred and sixty-eight fifty plus shipping. It was like one hundred and seventy-four sixty. It's probably one of the most expensive eBay purchases I've purchased in a very, very, very long time. So I'm eating dinner and I I happen to like go look like I wasn't expecting the package for a little while and I go to look at my tracking and it says that my package was delivered it's like I was just out at the mailbox a little bit ago that package ain't in there but it's saying that it was delivered now I live in a townhouse so our community has like one of those like mailboxes that has like 
all the different boxes of, you know, various neighbors and you all just have a key. And then if like you get a package that can't fit in the box, then you'll have like a key in the box um, for like a bigger box on the mailbox, that kind of thing, if you guys are familiar. Uh, but there was no key in my, my mailbox. So I'm flipping out like, oh my God, like what do I do? Because I can't go back to the seller and be like, I never got it because it clearly shows that it was delivered even though it's not in my possession. So that means that it was delivered to someone else. Who knows who else? Like I have no idea. And like nowadays you don't know if you can trust um you know, someone who gets it by accident to give it to you or anything like that. So I was like very, very concerned because I did not want to be out $174 and these perfumes. So I don't know what made me think of it, but the mailbox above ours belongs to the neighbor man. And we actually have a key to his mailbox because when he goes, he goes on vacation every summer um, to visit his brother out west. And we have one of his mailbox keys because we would get his mail whenever he goes um, to see his brother. So I don't know what made me think. I was like, I'm going to go look in his mailbox and see if like my perfumes are in there. Sure enough. The key to the mailbox was in his box. Now, had I not had a key to his box, he would have gave me my package. Um, I can trust him. He trusts us. Like, there would have been, you know, I would have gotten it. But he doesn't check his mail every day. So I would have been, like, shitting my pants for a while. But thankfully, I had his key and the key to the box um, that had the perfume in was in his box. So I just had to share share that story with you guys, but you can imagine my horror of a tracking number saying that it was delivered and your $174 worth of perfumes are not there. Like someone else has them. Like, oh my gosh, I was flipping out. So anyway, the lot was for four Lush perfumes and they were described as like new, barely used and that's precisely the condition that they were in. It doesn't really look like they were used at all. Um, so each perfume, if you would buy it on the website, um, three of them would have pretty well added up to 160 and the one... Um, I'm not sure how much because I don't think it's available anymore. So I think I still got a really good deal on these. Um, but we're just going to go over uh, the all of them. I'm so excited to like finally start like a Lush perfume collection. So the first one is Curbside Violet. And I have been wanting this one for a while. I sprayed this on me when it was available um, in the shops. And I sprayed it on and I was like kind of disgusted by it. I was like, ew, this stinks. Like there's no way I'd want this. And then they got rid of it, um, at least in the shops. And I was so upset because after I sprayed it on and like walked around and like the rest of the day, I was getting like whiffs of the perfume. And after a while, it like, I don't know if it just like settled or whatnot. And I was just, I fell in love. So... I'm really excited for this one. It has a very um, beautiful violet scent. If you like um, florals, especially violet floral scents, you will absolutely love it. I'm a huge fan. The other thing is, the, these caps are like, do you hear that? They're like super loose. They like barely stay on. That's kind of crappy packaging, but I can get over it because it smells delicious. Um, next I got the smell of weather turning and I was really excited about this too. This smells like the, um, oil on trouble water bath oil. It's a unique smell. It's one of those smells like you're going to like it or you're going to hate it. And I like it because when I did my oil on trouble water bath oil, I had said like, man, I wish I had a perfume that smelled like this. 
not realizing that there wasn't perfume that smelled like that. So I'm excited to add that to my collection. It's a little bit different of a scent than what I would typically wear too, which I like. Another one is What Would Love Do? So I wasn't really quite sure what this one smelled like. And it's got like tangerine in there and lavender. It smells nice. I really do like it. And, but I mainly got it for the one, the one, this one here is one that I, I was dying for. So to get the other three was just awesome. But this was the one I was like, I have to have it. This is a Tuka Tuka um, perfume. Oh, I love the smell of this. This one has vanilla, sandalwood. There's violet in this as well. It's just so sexy smelling. I absolutely, absolutely love it. So that's four lush perfumes to add to my collection. And that is a collection that is freaking expensive to start, holy crap. There are so many Lush perfumes that I would die to have, but some of them are like $200 just for one bottle because they don't make the sense anymore. Like I know Calacus goes for 200. I'm sure there's some that go for even more. Um, I would die for those, but like, I can't afford to spend that much on perfumes right now. I just happened to luck out because I sold that Gap Grass perfume so I could buy some um, perfumes that I wanted. And then the seller did end up sending me two free perfume samples. This first one is by a company called Nest Fragrances and it is scented in Black Tulip, which sounds amazing. I love florals. And this one was really cool. It's called Replica, Reproduction of Familiar Scents and Moments of Varying Locations and Periods. Um, it's by a company called Mason Margiela Paris. And this is so awesome. It smells like burning wood and chestnut. Provenance and period Chamonix. 1971 um this actually smells like a fireplace it's crazy i sprayed it on um when i got my box because i was curious and it literally smells like a fireplace it's got like this smoky burning wood kind of scent but it smells so good like i love this scent as like a candle i'm not quite sure about wearing it as a perfume I'll, I'll use this like i'll use it until it's all but um i definitely would probably prefer it as like a candle than to wear as a perfume but it makes me wonder what i want to go on their website and see what other perfumes they have because it sounds like it would be really like unique kind of scents so i think that's really cool but that is oh no that's not everything i have samples too you guys know I always do my Lush samples at the end of the video. So I got my little bag here of samples and I just request free samples. I have a video up on how to request free samples um, on the Lush UK site if you guys are, are curious, if you don't know how to. Um, but I will show you what they threw in my bag here. I got some Rainbow Fun. I don't know if the heat kind of melted this a bit but it seems uber duper squishy like it seems like it melted and then never really rehardened at all there's a sample of figs and leaves soap and i'm telling you guys they changed their formula of their soaps and these soaps are not gonna last this thing is so freaking soft like it's crazy. I just, I mean, that's good in a sense, but not in the sense of it, it's not going to last very long. Um, but it smells amazing. I love figs and leaves. I like using it um, during the fall, though, because that's what it reminds me of. And then I got four, no, I got three, yeah, three black pots of um, samples. 
I got the I Love Juicy shampoo. I got the Cynthia Sylvia Stout shampoo, as well as the Salted Coconut hand scrub, which I remember not really caring for the scent so much on that. It sounds like it would be amazing scented, but it just don't work out like that. It 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 sounds awesome smelling, but it's it's not really awesome smelling. <laughs> but that is everything for my lush haul, my Father's Day stuff, just some random things that I plan on doing some videos of, and then the start of hopefully the start of what's going to shape up to be a pretty decent Lush perfume collection. We shall see. Now the Lush Labs is supposed to come out um, with a month of perfume and I'm probably going to buy up some of those then too. So probably won't get any more perfumes until then. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. You'll have to let me know what you thought down below. Um, your feelings on the Father's Day products and your feelings on the possibility of new liquid shower gels finally coming about. And also, if you have a Lush perfume collection, which one is your favorite in your collection? Like, do you have one of like the super rare ones? Like, do you have a Calacus? Do you know it's worth $200? Because it is. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.